want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash, which is the ancient Paleo Hebrew for all praise to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's only name. In the name, in the name of his son Yahweh Shai, his son's only name, in the Rakakwadash, which is the wisdom and understanding of these holy scriptures. Very right, double honesty, apostles and elders of great and stone. And salutations to the sins to Akim that's pushing the truth of these holy scriptures and fear and sincerity of truth. This is Brother Yawasap. This is Brother Yaramya. Right, and we want to do another lesson based on the Hebrew word Yakal, which means hope. Right, because in this truth, we got, we got a hope, we got to keep hoping that the Mosai is dealing with us, hoping that the Mosai doesn't take away his Holy Spirit from us. Hoping that the brothers that, that that is amongst us, you know, hold strong and we keep building each other. Mm -hmm. Alright? Let's go to uh, Job chapter 6 verse 11. <clears throat> Come on. This is Job 6 and mm -hmm. verse 11. What is my strength that I should hope? And what is the mine end that I should prolong my life yeah so job is asking well what is the strength that you should hope what strength will we have you know the scripture says not by might nor by power but by the most high spirit so what strength we really have we carnal or we physical strength can't do nothing in this kingdom you know can't do nothing in this kingdom and it says and what is my end that i should prolong my life right as in like what was the end do we know do we know if we can be the elect because if if hope if if you see hope then it's not hope if you see the, if you see the mark if you see that you the elect is not hope and this truth requires hope your call you know jump to job 8 and 11. okay job 8 and verse 11 can can the rush grow up without mire? Yeah, the rush is a type of plant, right? The mire is mud. Go ahead. Can the flag grow without water? Uh huh. Go ahead. While it while what? it while what? it is yet uh -huh. in his greenness mm. and not cut down, it withered before any other herb. Yeah, so these two plants would wither before any other earth. Herb, slack you. Greta? Okay. And this is an allegory, alright, for to explain this next priest. Go ahead. So are the parts of all that forget Yahweh, mm -hmm. and the hypocrites. hypocrites hope shall perish. Yeah, so that's why we're hoping that we're not hypocrites. And that, yeah, we're hoping we're not hypocrites. And that we don't perish, you know, because we can be just like these two plants. We can't grow without the mire. We can't grow without the water, right? So we need to constantly stay in this water, you know, this water of knowledge, right? Before we wither, before all the other herbs, right? So we pray that we don't forget Yahweh Hashem Yahweh I keep pushing, you know. Read uh, next verse 14. Okay. Verse 14, whose hope shall be cut off and whose trust shall be a spider's web. Yeah, so our, if, if we are hypocrites, our hope will be cut off because what hypocrite hope is for? That he gets saved amongst his wickedness, you know? Sometimes, sometimes we're going we to fall off. We just got to get up and keep doing the right thing as best as we can. To the best of our ability. Scripture says, seek Yahweh and Shai ten times more. You know? So, or whose trust shall be as a, as a spider's web. So some might trust that they save and that they write with the most side. But really, that, that, girl, that trust is like spider's web. Easy broken by the wind or by some, some force. You know? Jump to 11. Chapter 11, verse 13 to 19. Okay. Ready? Can. Job 11 and 13. Mm. 
if thou prepare thy heart mm -hmm. and search out stretch out. and stretch out thine thine hands towards him mm -hmm. if iniquity be in thy hands put it far away yeah so if thou prepare in thy heart hebrew word lab for heart which means mind right and stretch out thine hands toward him that's what we're supposed to do it's lock you prepare our heart and stretch out our hand towards Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Where that? And let not wickedness dwell. Slack you read back 14. Can. Verse 14. If iniquity be in thy hand, mm -hmm. put it far away. And let not wickedness dwell in thy tabernacle. Yes, so if iniquity be in we hand, as in it real close, so we pick up iniquity again. We gotta put it far away and let it not wickedness dwell in our, in, in our tabernacles. Don't don't dabble dabble in in in, in um, unrighteous acts. You know, whether right for then shall thou lift up thy face without mm -hmm. spot. Uh huh. Yeah, thou shall be steadfast, steadfast mm -hmm. and shall not fear. Yeah. So when we do so, we shall lift up our face without lift up our face without spot, as in. Like something on your face, and you know, you become somebody laughing, laughing you or say, Hey, you got something on your face. But you know, which goes back to um, like a lamb being blemished, but you'll be pure, you know, you'll be clean, either all, all, all white, all white lamb, you know. And when it says, um, Ye thou shalt be steadfast and shall not fear, shall be grounded and nothing shall move us, you know. If we stumble, we not fear that. You know what I mean? Yeah, every man should fear when he stumble, cause fuck you, that could be it. What's this up, man? What's this up? Yeah. All right, let me know, right? Verse um, 15, no, 16. Verse 16. Because thou shalt forget thy misery mm -hmm. and remember it as water that pass away. Yeah, so we gonna forget our misery because we got trust in how about Hashem Yoshai, we put away our iniquity and we confident and sure, confident and not sure through the Spirit and remember it as waters that pass away. You remember that it, it, that is in the past. The iniquity is in the past. All right? Where that? Can. And thine age shall be clearer uh -huh. than the noonday. Mm -hmm. So, age can be clearer as the noonday. Where? Though shall shine forth thou shall be as the morning can so your works your righteousness can shine forth through to to you how because um essentially this this who this who we working towards to to, to please and do good works for how about shape but through the akia through through the through the works and so forth is where is where um you know we commune and we fellowship you know, set it up that way whereby you would walk in the spirit. You hear that? Can. And thou shalt be secure because there is hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it said we can be secure because there is hope. Because we're hoping that, that if we continue the good works, that our sins won't be remembered. Alright? And that, 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 um, that, our age shall shall shine forth. I'll be as the I'll be as the morning slack you. Yeah, go that. Yeah, thou shalt dig about thee, and thou shalt take thy rest in safety. Mm -hmm. So it says, thou shalt dig about thee, and thou shalt take thy rest in safety. Yeah, we can see. We can. At the talking about the rest in the no, not rest. Talking about. When um the Mosai, you know, easier some affliction and um easier some affliction, so you know you will be you will be at peace and understand the blessing from Yahweh Bashim or Shai, so to speak. Right? It says and thou shalt be secure because there is hope, yea thou shalt dig about thee. Alright? Go ahead um verse 19. Okay. Also thou shalt lie down. And none shall make thee afraid. Come. See that? Shall lie down and none shall make us afraid. Well. Right? 
Yeah. Yeah, many shall make suit. Suit unto thee. Yeah, many shall make suit unto us. Brother. But the eyes of the wicked slack you. Jump to chapter 17, verse 15. So we gotta keep on hoping, you know. We gotta keep on hoping that when we when we put away our iniquity, we gotta hope that Yahweh you know, Shai keeps us in that right spirit. Yeah, Job 17 and 15. Job 17 and verse 15. And where is now my hope? Uh -huh. As for my hope, who shall see it? Yeah, and that's what Job is asking. Right? So we gotta ask ourselves, where is our hope? And who shall see it? Where is your hope? Where is my hope? And who shall see it? What do I hope for? What? Do we hope for carnal things? Do we hope for a woman? No, we hope that the most high God we on the right track. That we that we ain't set up to be destroyed. To be a reprobate, to be one of those crept on the words, one of those Lord Lord niggas we hoping that we're not. You know? Um jump to Psalms Psalms 39 verse 7 to 10 and 13. Third and nine. Yeah. Sounds third and nine and ten. Mm -hmm. nine. Seven. Seven straight out of ten. ten. And jump to uh, thirteen and ten. Psalms third and nine and verse seven. Uh huh. And now, Yahweh, that what with what with I what, what with, with I, I for? For so he's asking. Hope. So he's asking, what wait I what wait I for? What are we waiting for? Well, my hope is in thee. That's where our hope should be in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Our hope should be in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Well, uh, Deliver me from all my transgressions. Uh -huh. Make me not the reproach of the foolish. Yeah, we hope in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Deliver us from our transgressions, right? Uh, make us not a reproach of the foolish. Yeah, don't don't make us a, a reproach unto these foolish people that we've been preaching to 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 repent, and then we fall off, and then you know they could reproach. Watch ye, watch ye, just the idea you say next one and see you watch ye know, bear wickedness, you know, brother. Verse verse nine. Verse nine. I was dumb. I opened not my mouth. Because thou did it, it. Good. So we gotta realize when yo we being stupid, we being foolish, and just shut up. And understand as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai working. Basically, is our priest of the same. You know. Go ahead, verse ten. Ah. Remove thy stroke away from me. <laughs> I am consumed by the blow of thine hand. Yeah. So we are praying for mercy. In other words, we hoping for mercy that the Most High remove. <laughs> That stroke away from us, that whip, that that manners us, <laughs> so to speak, that keeps us in check. You know, it says, "I am consumed by the blow of thy hand." Yeah, the most I is to unleash, unleash. You know, the full the full extent of what we deserve. You know, none of we would stand, none of we could be able to bear it. But this flesh, this flesh, will tell you, boy. Jump to verse thirty. 30. Verse 30. Oh, spare me that I may recover strength before I go hence and be no more. Yes, yeah, so we're praying for the most high spare us. And, and that we that we may recover the strength, the strength we first had. According to Job 16:11, where he was asking, Where is my strength that I should hope? So we see how it tied together to his spirit, alright? Before I go, hence and be no more. Before we move on forward, and we lose, we lose the race, we lose the fight. You know that's why we ask for spare and most I give us the strength to continue pressing towards the mark. So lucky, all right. And with that, uh, we want to say anything. Huh? Yeah, we want to give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakah Kadash. 
Um, that will honestly be apostles and elders of great millstone and um, all the sincere Akim Akwatim that's trying to hold on to this faith, alright? Shalom, Rakata. Shalom, Rakata.